This is easily one of the best way to run a Nintendo Switch emulator on a phone and it all comes down to Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. With this kind of power the Galaxy S24 Ultra can handle Switch games like a champ. Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we set up a relatively new Nintendo Switch emulator for Android called Sumi. It's still work in progress, so it's not perfect, but it's already showing some impressive results, especially on higher-end devices like this one. Before we jump into the setup, if you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing. It really helps the channel grow. I'll also leave a link down in the description with everything you need to recreate this setup, including a few affiliate links that support the channel at no extra cost to you. For this setup, I'm using the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, powered by Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, with 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. Got a gorgeous 6.8 inch AMOLED display running at 120 Hz, and right now it's running Android 15 Vanilla Ice Cream. For the controller, I'm using the Easy SMX M10. I have been using it in the past few weeks, and honestly, it hasn't let me down. Solid build, great performance, and perfect for this kind of gaming. Alright, moving on, let's get Sumi installed and set up. We'll start by heading to the link, I pin it down in the comments, from there just download the latest APK, usually the first option listed. Once downloaded, open it up, accept the permissions and grant access where needed. Next we'll import some uh, few files. First we go with the product keys. And then we're gonna select our title keys. And finally we're gonna install the switch firmware. As you can see, everything has been imported successfully. Now let's add our games. I already placed a few backups in my Switch folder, so I'll select the folder from here. Select the scan. Now before we launch into any gameplay, you'll need to tweak a quick settings for smoother performance. Head into the settings, emulation settings system and make sure to disable limit speed percent. This helps uh, improve frame rate and gives a more consistent gameplay experience. For our first test, we're jumping into the new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, and I'm using the Easy SMX M10 controller for this one. This game isn't super demanding, and as expected, everything runs nice and smooth. Controls are responsive, audio is synced, and is totally playable on the S24 Ultra. Now we're stepping things up a bit. I've connected a Dobsplay 15.6 inch portable monitor using a simple USB-C to USB-C cable. It's lightweight, uh, easy to carry, and pairs effortlessly with S24 Ultra thanks to Samsung DeX. For this setup, I'm going fully wireless. I got a Bluetooth keyboard and the Easy SMX X05 controller, which also connects over Bluetooth. Both work great with DeX and really makes this setup feels like a portable console. This time we're testing Super Mario Bros. Wonder, and as expected, everything runs great. The visuals look amazing on the larger screen. Input is smooth and performance holds up really well.
Rayman Legends runs without any issue on this setup, smooth performance, fast load times and absolutely no lag, but I wanted to push things a bit further, so next up is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, a more demanding title. This time I'm using the built-in screen recording of the S24 Ultra, so you can see exactly how it performs without any external capture devices. Now, as you can see, the frame rate jumps around, so we are seeing highs around 50 FPS, but it can all dip down way to 14, especially during races. So yeah, there's definitely some lag here, and its current state is not really playable. There might be some tweaks or config changes that could improve performance, and if you found a way to get Mario Kart 8 Deluxe running better on Sumi, let me know down in the comments. I would love to test it out in a follow-up. So overall I'm pretty impressed with what S24 Ultra can do when it comes up to emulating Nintendo Switch games, less demanding titles like Rayman Legends and Super Mario Bros. Deluxe runs great, smooth gameplay, solid controls and no issues at all. More intensive games like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe still need some optimizations but for mobile setup using just your phone, controller and a portable monitor this is pretty awesome experience. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more emulation gaming and mobile tech videos. And as always, thanks for watching!